As mines around the globe mature, mine closure is becoming a more salient issue. In response to this emerging challenge, on May 10, the University of Queensland's Sustainable Minerals Institute is hosting the Social Aspects of Mine Closure Research Consortium. The consortium is being led by the Sustainable Mineral Institute's Centre for Social Responsibility in Mining, whose director, Professor Deanna Kemp, is with me today. Deanna, to begin with, can you explain the background to the Closure Consortium? So the driving force behind establishing the Closure Consortium, you know, we were observing mine closure as an issue of increasing public interest. Mine closure is a time of significant transition for local communities and we know from past experience that these transitions are happening more often and are not always being handled well. We also detected an appetite within the industry for collaborative research. So we have six industry partners as part of the consortium, Oceana Gold, BHP, Anglo-American, Rio Tinto, Newmont Gold Corp and Newcrest. Can you outline the aims and objectives of the Closure Consortium? The aim that we've set ourselves at the moment is to drive robust analysis about the social aspects of mine closure through industry-engaged, multidisciplinary, innovative research for better long-term outcomes at the local and regional level. And we've got three objectives. So to better understand how the social dimensions of mine closure are being considered and understood by industry and its partners to identify strategies for improving post-mining futures for the communities in which mining takes place, and to really drive the integration of social dimensions into the mine life cycle transformation in that transition to closure and beyond. What research questions will you be engaging with industry over? There's so many topics uh, and so many questions that we want to be engaging with industry on. Um, I can give you five examples. So social impact assessment studies and methodologies. We're interested in answering the question, you know, how do we gear up the social knowledge base on this topic? We're interested in agreements and post-closure outcomes. So how agreements can help improve closure outcomes for Indigenous communities in particular. We have a town's transition tool, which we've worked with in the past. We'd like to test that tool and build a regional transitions methodology. The fourth one we're interested in is mine closure and artisanal and small scale mining, which you know some companies uh, deal with. We're interested in answering the question, how best to approach relinquishment when artisanal and large scale mining form an interface. And we're really interested in mechanisms for public participation. So how do we better support public participation in mine closure planning? Thanks very much for taking the time to talk to us about the upcoming social aspects of Mind Closure Research Consortium, Deanna. I look forward to hearing what comes from the May 10 meeting.